What is up DTube Steam blockchain? So today I want to talk a little bit about um, I want to talk a little bit about 5000 SP dolphin level and I want to talk about numbers. So I saw Elsa KK and some other people I think it was stacking on uh, Steam blockchain talked a little bit about this about the the, um, the 5000 steam power level and um, you know, it sort of gives me ideas. Uh, it um, how how sort of getting up to two years on the Steam blockchain. How I sort of look at Steam and Steam power, and how it sort of has changed over the years. So I still love Steam blockchain, just as much as uh, as when I started early 2018. But the the thing that has changed is you sort of see how you sort of see what a long game it is, the long tail game. That when I started early 2018, it was more rush, uh, getting in as much money as possible, stake it in Steam Power, and you know Lambo next month. But, you know, then you learn that that's not really how this industry works. It's actually very... Even though it's fast compared to other industries, where maybe to build a fortune would take 100 years. Here, maybe it's going to take 10 years. So, it's still very fast compared relative to what has existed in the past. Like, this is way better. But it's still slow. It's not like... Lambo next month, you know, and even though there's no guarantee for Lambo, even on that thing, <laughs> you, they can go to zero, not financial advisor. But, 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 it really has changed how I look at it. And, you know, I, lo I love steam power, I love, um, you know, accumulate and sort of get up to 5,000 steam power eventually. And the way I think a lot of people have it right now is, I think a lot of people have, for example, below maybe 5,000 Steam Power in their Steam account. But I think that many people are sitting with money on the sides to, um, they, they, I think many people, they have, like, if they would count their fiat money, they can put in 5,000 SP right now. But I think that many people are sort of seeing the way I look at it also is that they sort of see that well it doesn't really uh, if you look at the long tail if you really look at it from a long tail curve it doesn't really matter when a person gets involved well especially when we look at if, you, if we just look at a person just wants a regular job or, or, or something like that and then and they have no big uh, plans of maybe get a house or, or something like that. That they, there's no big massive cost or there's no very expensive thing that they're planning on buying. Then in many ways, I think then a lot of people can sit on money on the side. And then if they see some magical thing happen with Steam, maybe some new community thing or maybe some better technology then they can basically put in some value but I think right now many people are just they just waiting for the industry to mature so they have a lot of value but they're sitting on it on the side so they see okay I can go up to 5000 SP today but I'm just gonna chill a little bit I'm just gonna earn it slower and see how things evolve because especially for people that has been this in this space for around two years they sort of see that that it, a lot of stuff happens in in this space so this they, they can still in many ways be loyal to the platform but they sort of see it as being loyal in terms of they are creating a lot of content and they're used starting to tweak their habits in terms of their daily life that they're starting to learn to, to produce stuff daily and that that is a very amazing way of being loyal because that is sort of 
that's that's real production and that eventually uh, value will flow to people that are actually producing something uh, and uh, yeah numbers uh, I was I was thinking about this also a little bit sometimes because you can have experiences in this space where maybe you put in three hundred dollars in a coin or whatever and then it goes up maybe maybe five x I mean five x is five x is pretty common these days okay I'm not a financial advisor but but if you look look at Litecoin, look at the US, a lot of them like went to 5x in uh, in just the 2019. If you look at if you look at December and then uh, June, I think it went like 5x or something. Uh, a lot of coins, Litecoin, US, uh, yeah. That, so I mean, if we just consider it, I think a lot of people are sort of seeing that. Oh wait a sec. So people can sort of put in three hundred dollars in something. And something is gonna go 5x. So, and then maybe they sit on $1,500. And then it's more as, just because this space is so early still, it's like 1995, 1994, it's like internet. Uh, they sort of see, okay, we have a bunch of money here. Let's say they, let's say they put in $300 in something, and that is like $1,500. And then they sort of see, okay, maybe I can get 5,000 steam power. But I'm just gonna wait a little bit to, you know, I'm fairly confident that this is kind of cool stuff that, that's happening. Uh, they're just gonna wait a little bit with the value on the side because, you know, 13 weeks, power down, uh, you know. Well, so I think that a lot of people sort of, they got the numbers, right? They, they got the numbers on the side. And if they want to, they can put some in again. But they sort of see it as, well, you know, I'm just going to wait a little bit. I'm just going to see. And uh, I, I think in many ways that's fine. Uh, and uh, when a person, let's say they sit on like, okay, wait a second, I have $300 and then it's like $1,500. And if they really, because now they have some value. And if they really now start to look at stuff a little bit deeper, they like okay, fifteen hundred dollars. Do I wanna do I wanna put all that value into one place right now, or shouldn't I just just wait a little bit and then instead use earning it slower? Because in a way, I sort of feel that if a person if a person earn, earns something a bit slower, it's almost as they they get a higher respect for the currency. In many ways, I think that is how stuff happens. I think a lot of people have had the experience of okay, I can, I can dump fifteen hundred dollars on on this coin, but then it makes it so they 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 feel careless. They feel like okay, I feel kind of lazy because I saw how easy I could get a bunch of coins, and then they don't put in the work, and then they. I think in many ways humans are sort of hardwired for work, and they sort of see it as. If they do some real work, you know, they kind of love a currency even more than a person that has a bunch of coins uh, or maybe ninja mind the coins. But this is very interesting in many ways because especially when uh, we're going to get the price reduction, especially also when this generation, they don't buy cars, they don't really buy real estate. Um, because it's a kind of a bubble, boodle, bubble, kind of come down again. <laughs> but they said I want to use the rent and share. So in many ways, it, there's a lot of um, cost reductions, especially with decentralized tokens. I mean, it, the, use the fact of the decentralized token aspects, it just makes so your value is already like 50% more because fees and all kinds of weirdness is like, you just cut out all the nonsense. It's kind of interesting. So, you know, $100 decentralized, it's actually like $200. And then you combine that with cost reduction of a lot of goods and services. Eventually that $100 is like $300 in economic power, okay? So I, I think that people see that smaller amounts can go further and further than in the past. So they sort of start to consider, well, okay, if $100 can go very far now, 
because they can 5x, 10x, or, or whatever, they sort of see it, okay, okay, so $100 can, in theory, go far. Uh, they sort of see, okay, you can get $1,000, a $10,000, but it becomes a game of numbers a lot. And I think eventually we're going to put all those numbers, likes, followers, reputation scores, it's all, it's all going to matter still, but it's more going to be in the background. So people are going to sort of, and this comes into measure, what can people measure? I think we're going to move away in many ways from just raw numbers to try to make or try to look at things in more or try to look at life in more sophisticated ways eventually. So I think that people are seeing, okay, like if, if you really look at it like 500 SP, 5000 SP or 50,000 SP, yeah, we, we have some more numbers here and there, but if you look at this industry in many ways in long term scale, if a person like what a person is doing in terms of daily job, like yeah, they can earn a little bit, and actually the main value from that is the habit that they that they are that they're sort of creating. But what actually is going to create the most value is probably not their work, but that they are in an exponential industry, and that a network effect basically means that if you're in a successful network, everyone benefits. Everyone benefits. And yes, someone can, in theory, buy buy some maybe some luxury watch or maybe something a little bit exotic that maybe a little bit less SP cannot get. But most goods and services are gonna go sort of down in many ways. So it's it's really interesting. It's really interesting to. So you know, I think a lot of people. In many ways, you need to have, I think, more sophisticated systems to incentivize people to do stuff. And and I think a lot of that comes down to a strong brand. And I think that the Steam brand, in many ways, got very weakened because a lot of uh, layoffs and uh, a lot of strange leadership de decisions. And I think that people do want to be a part of a brand. They want to be a part of something cool. They want to be a part of a strong community. And at the moment, I would say DTube, that community is very strong. I mean, it's like a cool brand you want to be a part of, but the bigger Steam, Steam plays, it's, it's a little bit scattered around and, and the brand is a little bit, you know, weekend from early 2018 when uh, it was a little bit more high status. So... It's, uh, I think that people sort of see, uh, they've seen all the drama, all the battles and all that. And they sort of see it as, okay, I'm just going to, whatever, I'm just going to let Steam dripple in. I'm just going to focus on making the content and uh, some Steam is going to come in. But eventually I think that people are not really going to be earning Steam. And this is something that people talked about a lot, that majority is going to earn some niche brand community token and this was what uh, smart media tokens was supposed to be but now it seems like steam engine is, is taking that role instead and and it, it, it's it's going to you know it's going to be cool cool high status brands that use works has a strong community that i think those tokens are going to be stuff that people really want and it's going to take time to build that up because a community is not use the buzzword that people throw around in white papers. I mean, it, it actually means that you need to have real people doing real stuff, uh, invest real time and energy. And, you know, people see that a lot of these brands are going to take quite some time to build up. And something I realized uh, with a lot of number focus on YouTube is after you get like a million followers it becomes like well you now you have to wait for everyone else to catch up to you <laughs> so it's like yeah even in and I think this is also something that I mean 
that we're going to see in the crypto industry in many ways stakeholder frustration where they they sort of got a lot super fast and now they had to wait for everyone else to catch up so uh, it's it's very interesting how people are looking at it they see numbers but they sort of see it as eventually is this going to matter that much in five years I don't really think so. I think what's going to matter is the connections people do and, you know, the, the work that, that they're putting in on, the, on a daily basis and and sort of it's, it's, it's going to more eventually revolve around what kind of a human being someone is. And that's very interesting. Uh, that's very interesting because the, you can see that the, the crypto community in many ways started as, even in a way, as a clickbait community in terms of, okay, we're just going to chase the numbers. We're just going to chase the numbers. Uh, like page views and, and how a lot of ads, the ad industry, and a lot of that is working. Well, eventually it's going to move towards people. It's going to move towards community. It's going to move towards brands. And if you have an awesome brand, people are going to come. If you have an awesome brand, people want to invest in it. It's going to be an automatic. Because cool brands works, amazing communities works, amazing content works. People sort of see when someone puts in an effort and when they don't put in an effort. And it's, it's very interesting. It's, it's, it's very interesting to... It's very interesting how it's going to change. Because one of the reasons why people... Why there is a lot of chase for numbers at the moment is because... People do have to go between two systems. They have to go between the real world, the old system that's slower, and uh, the new system. And they're like, why do I have to go back? It's like you have... It's like you found a Ferrari. And then you have to go back to your horse. Uh, it makes no sense, right? It makes no sense. And it's not going to make any sense in, I would say, five to ten years. When artificial intelligence is just... Uh, it's going to take over. It's going to do a lot of things. It's going to do a lot of things. Uh, just looking at it the, the first six months of this year. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of interesting stuff happening with apps on smartphones. Just the last six months. Probably more happened the last six months in terms of... Um, in terms of this space than the the five years before that. So, I mean, that is exponential. Yeah, and uh, we, saw, <laughs> we started to see the exponential effect on the Steam blockchain as well, where, okay, we have more and more communities that has tokens, so people can see, okay, we have an abundance of tokens, now we only have to focus on brands, building up great brands. And a lot of brands are gonna fail, a lot of tokens are gonna fail because they're not, they maybe have a struggle building infrastructure of people and community. Maybe it's just not the big niche that people are into. Maybe it's hard to access the people. Yeah, a lot of factors, but it's very interesting to see content creators as finally starting to be, be rewarded properly, uh, especially in video. Especially with uh, DTube and all this. And uh, I don't know, it's just cool. It's just cool. The way I look at it is I love Steam. I love earning Steam. But it's also as content creator's goal is going to be to basically do the work and then whatever comes in, comes in. And for me, I like to look at it as. How can you make one Steam go farther? How can you build a stronger Steam brand? And uh, that's what, that, that, that is eventually what is going to grow this whole ecosystem. Because the, the long-term goal is that numbers should not eventually matter that much. Uh, because if you have a great trust or trustless system or whatever you want to call it, if something is amazing, 
then transactions are going to be a very small thing be in the background that is cool it's going to be very cool to be honest because in many ways I think the way people using the internet is they're looking out they're looking out to see to see what's happening but the whole universe or you have a microcosm of the whole universe inside of yourself you like you can only experience the universe from inside of yourself so you are like a microcosm of the macrocosm which is of course very interesting so I think many people are gonna realize eventually that they can sort of uh, explore stuff within themselves and just use technology to you know to to get some value here and there uh, yeah it's fascinating it's really fascinating but uh, yeah numbers are cool numbers are amazing I love it steam dolphin levels all, all these levels and but I look at it as in many ways as like even a person with one steam they are massive influence why because they are into something early before the mainstream and like one steam can be a hundred dollars easy I would say uh, especially if you have a strong brand and a community so even a person with one steam it's uh, for me that's a whale and a lot of people are not gonna agree with that but my view of a whale is uh, well well we could talk about that in another video but it's fun it's interesting it's very interesting how like what one person is doing and another person is doing are they really is anyone really doing something magical are someone doing something more advanced or are we all just using our consciousness to uh, explore stuff I think we all just using our consciousness to explore stuff and that's kind of cool yeah 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 I always love this uh, <laughs> this fish this fish uh, this fish thing where or well dolphin and then you have bigger whales and all of that it's kind of cool I like it yeah but yeah that's a little bit what I want to talk a little bit about today steam is great dolphins are great um, numbers are great but the way we're going to measure things are probably going to be a bit updated yeah we need to focus on brands and communities not to use as a buzzword so yeah that's what I want to talk a little bit about today and uh, have an awesome day DTube Steam Blockchain bye bye